Chapter 14 This message came to Jeremiah from the Lord, explaining why he was holding back the rain. Judah wilts. Her businesses have ground to a halt. All the people sit on the ground in mourning, and a great cry rises from Jerusalem. The nobles send servants to get water, but all the wells are dry. The servants return with empty pitchers, confused and desperate, covering their heads in grief. The ground is parched and cracked for lack of rain. The farmers are afraid. They too cover their heads. The deer abandons her newborn fawn because there is no grass. The wild donkeys stand on the bare hills, panting like thirsty jackals. They strain their eyes looking for grass to eat, but there is none to be found. The people say, Lord, our wickedness has caught up with us. We have sinned against you, so please help us for the sake of your own reputation. O hope of Israel, our Savior in times of trouble, why are you like a stranger to us? Why are you like someone passing through the land, stopping only for the night? Are you also confused? Are you helpless to save us? You are right here among us, Lord. We are known as your people. Please don't abandon us now. So the Lord replies to his people, You love to wander far from me and do not follow in my paths. Now I will no longer accept you as my people. I will remember all your wickedness and will punish you for your sins. Then the Lord said to me, Do not pray for these people any more. When they fast in my presence, I will pay no attention. When they present their burnt offerings and grain offerings to me, I will not accept them. In return, I will give them only war, famine, and disease. Then I said, O sovereign Lord, their prophets are telling them, All is well, no war or famine will come. The Lord will surely send you peace. Then the Lord said, These prophets are telling lies in my name. I did not send them or tell them to speak. I did not give them any messages. They prophesy of visions and revelations they have never seen or heard. They speak foolishness made up in their own lying hearts. Therefore, says the Lord, I will punish these lying prophets, for they have spoken in my name even though I never sent them. They say that no war or famine will come, but they themselves will die by war and famine. As for the people to whom they prophesy, their bodies will be thrown out into the streets of Jerusalem, victims of famine and war. There will be no one left to bury them. Husbands, wives, sons and daughters, all will be gone. For I will pour out their own wickedness on them. Now Jeremiah say this to them, Night and day my eyes overflow with tears. I cannot stop weeping, for my virgin daughter, my precious people, has been run through with a sword and lies mortally wounded on the ground. If I go out into the fields, I see the bodies of people slaughtered by the enemy. If I walk the city streets, there I see people who have died of starvation. The prophets and priests continue with their work, but they do not know what they are doing. Lord, have you completely rejected Judah? Do you really hate Jerusalem? Why have you wounded us past all hope of healing? We hoped for peace, but no peace came. We hoped for a time of healing, but found only terror. Lord, we confess our wickedness and that of our ancestors, too. We all have sinned against you. For the sake of your own name, Lord, do not abandon us. Do not disgrace yourself and the throne of your glory. Do not break your covenant with us. Please don't forget us. Can any of the foreign gods send us rain? Does it fall from the sky by itself? No, it comes from you, the Lord our God. Only you can do such things. So we will wait for you to help us.